This is 1407 Great Mountain Lane, the living memory of the X-Men. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's a segment called Explaining the X-Men to My Wife. <sighs> my wife knows nothing of comic books. She, she thought Wolverine, she thought Wolverine's name was X-Men. She didn't understand this till like we saw the movie and then I still had to explain it to her. She didn't know that his name was Logan. So I figured let's show everyone that Wolverine. You will not see my wife, but she will be behind the camera and you will he only hear her. So Wolverine. Okay. Wolverine was born. By the way, hello. By the way, <laughs> hello. Uh, Wolverine was born in the 1700s. Oh, wow. In Canada. He's Canadian. He's very Canadian. Hmm. He was born a rich kid. He looked like Alfalfa from Little Rascals. Seriously. Like, he had the mm -hmm. thing, and like, he was a sickling. <laughs> Did he really? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, yeah, it was rough. <laughs> uh, his dad was, well, yeah, his dad was rich. His mother was crazy. Uh, they had a gardener who was really, who was kind of a drunk. Well, he was a drunk. And who had a son who was friends with young Wolverine. Mm -hmm. uh, stuff happened. The mom killed herself. The dad was murdered by Wolverine after being after revealing that the gardener is actually his father. And uh, the gardener killed Wolverine's. This kind of reminds me of kind of like uh, flowers in the attic type deal, like intertwine family relationships yeah that's that's basically the tone for and this is the first like 12 years of his life so wait if he was born in, nine, in 1700s yeah. why is he still alive his mutant healing factor um, it keeps him it keeps him young and is like this relating to like the pod egg thingies you've showed me no that's donovax that's way Way that's like yesterday. Mm. No, that's that's a whole other thing. Wolverine's powers is he has uh, a mutant healing factor that that uh, retards his aging. So his power, his mutant, his mutant healing ability, retard, retard keeps his uh, keeps his age very flexible because he's always healing his old cells so he's old, like he could be a hundred and he's still moving like he's 30. Okay. so would this be kind of like edward from twilight oh jesus um i'm sorry i did not marry well <laughs> but you know what i mean yeah he's young he, yeah. he he's young it or he's a very he ages very, very slowly. Um, he also has the bone. He also has the claws that come out that are covered in animantium. Originally, they're bone. So, so was he born that way, or was he was born? He was born that way. Oh wow! But he didn't get the medal. He got the medal later on in his life when the Canadian government, yeah, the Canadian, the Canadian government kidnapped him, put him in a secret top in a top secret organization where they infuse metal into him hmm. onto his bones that's really painful that would kill somebody yeah so you know he got out went uh went wolf went wolf for a long time it's it's weird no he, wonder he seems kind of bitter He's very bitter, but he does. But here's the thing: he doesn't remember most. 
ooze memories. And I'm starting to think some of the Why worst. Why not? Because of uh, the organization, they trained him. Mm -hmm. They wanted to use him like a weapon. Think like, um, did you ever see the Born Identity? No. Damn it. Uh, did you ever see... All right, think about it like you're brainwashed. Mm -hmm. And you're brainwashed into doing, you're brainwashed into killing somebody at if, any given moment. Mm -hmm. That was him. So, so, but a lot of his memories are falsified as a way of just kind of messing with him. So, I did his own brain do that or was no, 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 no. That was the government. That was the guy. That was. That was the Canadian government who wanted, you know, apparently they're sadists. They want, they wanted just to mess with them. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. Hey. Uh, you and, know Canadians are like, hey. Yeah. Eventually you join uh, Department H, which is the British which is no not the british the canadian the canadian avengers mm -hmm. join the canadian avengers i'm forgetting a lot of stuff he was a crime lord in a south asian country he was part of a cia black ops team oh wow he, uh he fought in every major war uh he's known magically you know, his story... Wait, he's known who? Uh, no, I mean, like, he knows magic. The character. No, 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 not, oh, not like, her. Magic. Oh, okay, magic. Okay, okay. It's... Like, seriously, it seems like somebody who's getting drunk watching a bunch of TV. Different genres of TV. Mm. But then eventually he joins the X-Men. Uh, joins Is the he X a drunk? I can't remember from the He's movie. low-key a drunk. He'd be a drunk if he wasn't, didn't have the healing factor. Wolverine, he's kind of a jerk. Uh, he hits he's all... like a nice jerk, though. No, he's still a jerk. Like from the movie? No, he's, no, no, what he's Logan? doing. No, 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 that is some. Granted, I fell asleep halfway through it. Fair enough. No, in the, Logan, yeah, he's a good guy, but like you put, he's the kind of guy you don't leave around your girlfriend because he's going to try to hit on him. Well, wasn't he trying to get with, um, isn't that a love triangle? Yeah. Um, with Magneto. Is it Magneto or Cyclops? Cyclops. Cy um, Cyclops and Jean Grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was really inappropriate because the fact of the matter is she's already in a relationship and you're hitting on her mm -hmm. and low-key doing it in front of her dude just to show... But you can. Just to show you can. And you're also low-key calling him a bitch. That's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. And I think it's worse that all the other X-Men low-key see it, but they never went to talk to Cyclops like, hey, man, you need to check your girl. <laughs> it's like, bro is moving in on your girl. Like, yeah. you better watch that. Yeah. I think that's a little messed up. They're supposed to be his friends. But uh, yeah, Wolverine has a lot, he, lots of stories, very varied. I love the character. Uh, some of the things he does are kind of problematic. Like it, what? Uh, uh, he, he's judgmental. He's, he's a hypocrite. He thinks that he's the only person who should be a killer. Hmm. Wait, he's a killer? Yeah, he kills people. For fun? No. When he like, like a, what is it? Social justice warrior? No, no. He he kills people who he's kind of like he's kind of like the Punisher, only not crazy. Like if he's in a situation where he's, I don't uh, know who the Punisher. Okay, is. all right, that's a really bad example. Okay, he doesn't kill for fun. He kills people who are trying to kill him. Why are people trying to kill him? Because he puts himself in situations where people want to <laughs> try to kill him. 
Uh, there was one issue I really his I really liked. It was um Wolverine one seventy no one eighty one, and the, the whole the whole premise it's about three mobsters mm -hmm. who are telling all these you know good fellas type stories. Mm -hmm. And we go through each one and then we get and then we see Wolverine and he comes in and talks to uh three gangsters mm -hmm. who and uh, proceeds to scare the crap out of them before telling them exactly what's about to happen. He's like, I'm gonna kill all three of you and like in the end the bartender <laughs> <laughs> He ends up doing all this. He goes to the basement where there's a, there's a little girl tied up crying. Jesus. He goes and gets a little girl. He tells her to close her eyes. They leave the building. Why was she tied? Oh, uh, she was kidnapped. Why? Oh, uh, yeah, she was held for ransom. Yeah, that's something uh, you find out okay, later. Okay, okay. And she has, uh, sir. He's like, yeah. I'm like, are you Spider Man? He's like, <laughs> nah, darling. <laughs> Spider-Man's a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> and I really kind of told you So everything. was this contemporary time since uh, Spider-Man? Uh, yeah, this happened, well, it happened like 2003, but contemporary-ish. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, 2000, you feel like it was a couple years ago and not 17 yeah. or 18. Yeah, that's why living memory, you had to have a living memory. You remember the past as much as you remember the future. If that even makes sense. It does. But um, Wolverine, he's a really great character. He's been on every team. Uh, What's your it, favorite team he's been on and why? Uh, why not why? Well, X-Men, but... The team, the team roster, though, that's a hard... So wait, you said X Men team, but aren't they all X Men? No, uh, there are certain levels like there's. So like New Mutants move on to become X Men. Yeah, that's the original idea. That um, that was the original idea with the New Mutants. Um, with Wolverine, I'd say my favorite. No, I, no, not really. I don't, there's not really a team that I like with, like, it's nice, but there's, you know, they always center the team around them. So I can't really think of a team that didn't really have, that did not have him as a, a full-time team member. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, also... He he has a really good book. It's really, but it's the same as the X Force book. Why? It's written by the same person, and a lot of the same, a lot of the same storylines happen within the same book. So I I'd rather just call it X Force Two. You get two X Force books per month. Wolverine's cool. Hmm. Any other questions? If you had to put him, where would you rank him in your f top favorite characters and why? Top three, top five, top ten, not at all? Top 20. Jeez. He'd be like 14. Eesh, why? No, no, like, no, there's just, to me, there are more interesting X-Men out there. Hmm. You know, Cyclops is more interesting than he is. Beast is more interesting than he is. Colossus is more interesting than he is. Lockheed is more interesting than Cyclops. Hmm. The mul Jamie Madrox, the multiple man, is more interesting than Wolverine. I don't think I've ever heard of him. Yeah. You will. So we talked about how, like, he was in the love triangle with Jean Grey. Um, has he ever been married? Has that relationship ever gone 
any further than like just the hit on? Uh, okay. Wolverine, okay, that's a lot of what he is, a lot of what he remembers, he can't really trust because false memories. Mm -hmm. But everything that he's been through since, he's been married once. And that was to the head of the hand, who is the jet viper. Head of, head of the hand? Yeah. That reminds me of like the hand, like the hand of the king, no. the Game of Thrones. No, 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 no. Totally different hand. Uh, the hand are like a legion of nin of demonic ninjas. That sounds scary. Yeah, they are. They're supposed to be. They deal with... Uh, no, you don't... Yeah. They deal with what? They deal with a lot of uh, mystics. Uh, they deal with... Dare they deal with Daredevil a lot. Black Doctor Strange, Electra, but you don't know any of these people. I might as well be speaking Chinese. Huh. Okay, but since he was married, what happened? No, he got married for obligation. Mm. But... <laughs> okay, all right. It's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Just as, like, just as the vows were go going down, his worst enemy just comes out of nowhere and just slices his <laughs> it just attacks him. Because the wedding ended up, ended up falling on Wolverine's birthday. Mm -hmm. And anytime his birthday When's his birthday. I I don't know. It depends on the writer. Mm. But uh his birth no way. Was it? No. Was it June twenty? Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to go back into it. But uh, Sabretooth has his enemy has this thing of attacking him on his birthday. Go mm -hmm. back. Sabretooth? Yeah, Sabretooth. Okay, he's a dude that looks like a tiger. Yes. He he attacks Wolverine on his birthday every year without fail. He's like the Kool Aid Man on <laughs> yeah. Family Guy. Yeah, he's the Kool Aid Guy on Family Guy, <laughs> except he just beats you up. <laughs> It's like, hey, it's your birthday. <laughs> or like the chicken dude from Family Guy. Yeah, that guy. Like, Wolverine and uh, Sabretooth's relationship reminds me of Bart Simpson and Nelson Muntz, the bully from The Simpsons, where he just comes around, just punches him in the face, and just <laughs> leaves. <laughs> Laps on him and leaves. It's hilarious. Who is, oh yeah, you just said it, uh, Sabretooth, his worst enemy? Yes. Why did they become worst enemies? Uh, Sabretooth, <sighs> no, like, it's kind of, there's a lot of reasons. It's a lot of, personally, I think it's because uh, Wolverine is praised better than Sabretooth, and Sabretooth doesn't like that. He thinks Saber he thinks Wolverine is a sissy because Wolverine <laughs> keeps on rejecting his animal side, whereas Sabretooth embraces it. Oh, wasn't there a segment in um one of the new comic books that we read where he went to Krakoa and he was like, "Oh, this is beautiful." And then Sabretooth was like, or was that Wolverine? He's like, no, you can't accept it. You must always be on the lookout. Oh, that, oh, that was Wolverine. And Sabretooth. No, no, that was Wolverine Beast. Oh, right, right. What did he say? No, he, uh, he said that uh, this place is paradise. It makes you soft. And when oh, you're yeah, soft, yeah. you're vulnerable. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should always be on your guard. And also, Wolverine has a history of just saying things like that, and like, and he makes it seem like he's all about kill, kill, attack, attack. But when somebody else does it, he doesn't like it. And also, another thing, Wolverine that I don't like. <sighs> 
Well, no, okay, it's not something I don't like. It's more so something I've noticed. All the people who he has a problem with are not afraid of him. Mm. And now Wolverine has a bunch of enemies. Uh, Sabretooth I mentioned. This dude named Omega Red. Mm -hmm. Lady Deathstrike. I never heard of her. Oh, she... She's rough. She is a woman whose father was part of the program that gave Wolverine the Metal Claws Mm. and who was murdered by Wolverine and then she knows that she so she wanted to get revenge so she enhanced herself with cybernetic implants and she still hates him she hates him uh Cyclops is not afraid of Wolverine like anybody who's not afraid of Wolverine and calls him out on his bs he doesn't like Mm. I mean, who would? Yeah, but, you know, but everybody else is low-key afraid of him. I would. No, you can't be. You can't be afraid to call somebody a punk just because he can't kill you. Because if he kills you, he proves how much of a punk he is. He's still a punk. Any other questions? Did he have any kids? He had, he had one son... That he tried to murder. What? That's a whole thing. What's his name? His name is Dakin. I've never heard of him. Yeah, he is on. He's currently on the book. Is he a mutant? Yes, he's on a mutant. What's his power? He or had, mutancy. Mutancy power. What would you say? Mutant power. Um, he basically has the same powers as his dad. Only he his claws come out of here in here oh double but also he can control pheromones mm-hmm. like he kind of like makes somebody make someone mm-hmm. like him yeah that's yeah. interesting yeah he's kind of a and that's he's kind the of a lady funny he married his mother was japanese the lady no no not lady Deathstrike. no no the, the lady he married Oh, oh, uh, Viper. No, 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 no. This happened way before. So no kids came out of that marriage? No. He already had a kid when he married. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then there's also X-23. You saw her in Logan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his she, kid? That's, okay. Technically, it's more of his sister because mm-hmm. she's a clone. Mm-hmm. Clones can't be your kids, despite what Star Wars thinks. Hmm. Uh, and then there's the clone of the clone, Scout, formerly known as Honey Badger. Now, uh, X, now X-23 or Laura and Honey Badger, what they have in common is that they both have claws coming, claws coming here and uh, claws coming out of their feet. That makes them dangerous. Yeah, they're very dangerous. The only thing is... Uh, Honey Badger, she doesn't feel pain. So she's just... She's a clone of the clone. Yeah. Whereas Laura, she feels the pain. Mm -hmm. But she's kind of a... And you said Wolverine feels the pain? Wolverine feels the pain as well. Wolverine feels the pain. Um, Yeah. Yeah. He has three kids. Two of them are jerks. Hmm. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. This has been explaining X-Men to my wife. Ouch. I hope you survived the experience. Bye.